love to see. One thing is for sure, there's going to be a, a lot of pressure coming off Vekic's shots. She's aggressive. Likes to finish points quickly. It's really been a signature of the Vekic game that we have seen for many years. Just cr really clean ball striking. Excellent at changing direction. Yeah, it always feels like she's hitting the ball in the middle of the racket, doesn't it? Wow, what a rally. Well, we're all awake now, that's for sure. Some high-quality tennis down there from both girls. And that's what I meant uh, with Malin Helger, that she really doesn't worry about the pace out there. Just a matter of uh, consistency. Well played. Touch of class, great change up here. Um, Beckett's not just a clean ball striker, but yes. recognizing that Marlene doesn't mind this pace, so this is a clever change up. Yeah, she probably has to work with a bit of variety today, Donna Beckett. Too good. That's really classy. This is not an easy shot. A couple of meters behind the baseline to be able to change direction. Yeah, the back and down the line is one of uh, Donna Vekic's signature shots. Helga yeah. trying to run around her back and opening up the court, but if you don't play it precise enough, that's what happens. Very different matchup to the one that Helga had the other day against Arantxa. It was obviously a left-hander, and you can already see just a complete different pace of shot from the racket of Vekic. 
feels like she doesn't mind it though, doesn't she, Casey? I think she would prefer it. All right, Babsy. I think the key will be to see how long she can keep this level for. Can she sustain a really good level? Because she has it, and we've seen patches of it, but can she sustain it for the length of the match? Really taking this early. Look how far Vekic gets inside. And that just takes time away from the server, the opponent. Just loving the start uh, here from Helgo. Not taking a, a backward step, really embracing this opportunity. And a good start here for Team Norway. And sometimes uh, Helga noticed that against the rancher Russ. Uh, she's rushing. She wants uh, the point too quickly. And that's what I've been uh, talking about before. It's a matter when you play what shot. That's so crucial in tennis. Point here, number two. It's a positive yeah, start for Domovetic and Team Croatia. They get the opening break and lead one love. Um, Casey, I'd be interested in your thoughts on Donna Vekic. We know that she's been around no. quite some years now, just 27 years of age, and we know she's been as high as 19 in the world. How do you see her level, and what would you expect this year from Donna Vekic? Yeah, I'm expecting big things, Josh, if I'm completely honest. I feel like Donna's been one of those players that feels like she's been around forever, but she's only 27, and I feel like the last couple of years she's really matured. Um, we know all of the... I feel like she's just really come into herself. She knows who she is, and I feel like that's reflection on the tennis that she's t uh, playing at the moment. So, yeah, I'm really keen to see what 2024 brings for her, but I am expecting her to have a really great season, providing the body can stay healthy as well. Hope so, and 
Donna Vekic representing It's a strong Team start, Croatia of course, serve. with the opening break. One love. Keep a close eye on Donna Vekic's serve today and see where the differences are. Working a lot on it in the off-season. Oh! Of course, that's always what happens, right? <laughs> you want to talk about the strength and then there's an error. She has to work for each point, Donna Vekic, doesn't she? Yeah, you do get the feeling Vekic just probably a little bit more experienced and just a little better at sustaining this power game that we're both seeing from from the well, really both girls out here. That's how they play. Vekic just a little more consistent at this point. Yeah, she also looks calmer out there. She meant to play that return that uh, was such a, a cross court angle, but the way she executed that back and down the line was phenomenal. They really pushed Vekic outside the court. That's a great tactic for sure. I love those short cross court angles anyway. I don't see them enough in women's tennis, unfortunately. Casey played them so well. Oh, you really got to, uh, that's just what we we're talking about with Leila Fernandez yesterday, wasn't it, Babsy? Just around knowing who you are, your game style, your physique, and, and what type of game style suits you. And I think for, to get Vekic at end range, finding ways to create some angles, get some width. You don't want to give her too much width where, width where you open the court up, but you want to get her moving so she's not dominating that middle part of the court. Opening service game for Donna Vekic. Consolidates the break to two love. To lead, two games to love. This is Donna Vekic's uh, 19th year coming up on the tour, which is uh, phenomenal. I was wondering, Casey, have you played against Donna at all? Or uh, That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> you can't remember. Oh, my, tennis, <laughs> my own tennis history is terrible. But... Um, I've practiced with her, I know that for sure, and she has a really strong pace of ball, there's no doubt. What I do like is even in these first couple of games, we've seen some height, shape on the ball, and then she's looking to be aggressive off the next one, and that's a, a real sign of maturity. Yep. Probably fair to say, Casey, early in her career, Donna Vekic, it was a bit of a roller coaster ride. We know how talented she was and 
she seemed to be quite emotional after losses and I think now we're seeing that, that sign of maturity that you're alluding to. Yeah, and I think we underestimate how impactful Don't what happens off the court. Maybe slightly more for the women's game has as a, for a player. And I think for Donna, there was a lot going on off the court. And I feel like now that that has all kind of settled down and as, as she has matured, we've see, really started to see the best of Donna, which is, is what we've all been hoping for for many years. Too good. Makes such Thank a big you. difference if you if your return has so much depth. She's been waiting for that and look how far inside the baseline she was taking that return and then followed through. You can play so much more accurate as well. You go through the ball. This time she wanted a little bit too much, but she's certainly looking for those second serves, isn't she? Donna Vekic and she loves it. Yeah, some good feel there. Yeah. So far, been successful with those drop shots. Well, Eva Maioli, we can hear her. She's happy. Team captain, Croatia. There she is. So important for Helga to get on the scoreboard in this first set. Yeah, that's right. It played underway about 15 minutes or so. She's actually played well. Yet to get a reward on the scoreboard, it would be nice to see that. And oh. deserves it. Clean winner for Helgo. And it's Donna Vekic with an early break, leading 2-1 first Three set. Two games to one. Helgo has an amazing acceleration on her forehand, doesn't she? Really gets underneath the ball well and creates much power. Takes time away from the opponent. Well, this is where it happens, and it happened, well, not that long ago, a few short hours ago on this magnificent harbour. The Opera House on the right, Sydney Harbour, and the bridge there lighting up the skies to bring in the new year here. 
down under in Australia. One of the best sights and experiences possible. Christian Rood is the captain of Team Norway, father of Kasper Rood, really animated, laying down the law here and really encouraging Marlene to, to keep going for it, keep fighting. Time. Trying to change of pace there, Donna Vekic. Didn't work. I love how she always takes a lot of time in between the points, slowing things down slightly. Yes. Oh, second double fault already for Doma Vekic. Good fight back here yeah, from Marlene uh, Helga. She gives all the scoreboard tool. That's exactly what happened against a, a rancher, Russ, as well. She was down a break in the first and just fought herself back into the match. Just a matter of keeping that intensity up. Here from and Casey Delacqua is courtside in Team Croatia. There, 
Yeah, thanks. I'm in the Team Croatia zone. Uh, I'm with Petra. Uh, welcome to Sydney. Welcome to the United Cup. How has the experience been for you so far? Obviously, you're only 18 years of age. Has it just been a great experience being amongst the team? Yeah, it's definitely a big thing to be surrounded by the pros and to spend more time with them and get them to know better. Also, I'm loving oh. Sydney. I'm loving the whole United Cup thing, so it's really nice. Awesome. And this so far, uh, to all, this is a pretty tight match. What are your thoughts on the match so far? Well, they're both playing good. I think uh, Donna just... That was a good shot. <laughs> I think just Donna needs time to break her, but we'll see. But it, they're both playing good, so it's a good match. Awesome. Well, all the best to Team Croatia. Thank you. Thank you, Casey. Looking pretty in pink in Team Croatia. Oh, how well did she open up the court there, Malene Helge? I didn't think that Vekic was going to get to that uh, first short cross-court angle, but she did. So that's definitely a, a recipe against the Croatian, but sometimes it's not that easy to execute it, but well played. She's still trying to find her rhythm a little bit, Donna Vekic, in this match. Of course, it's uh, the first competitive match of the season for her. Helga had one a couple of days ago already. Let's yeah. well, it's, it's a little long. Yeah, so it's been a good fight Norway. back here from Team Norway. Three games in a row, and Helgo leads 3 2 first set. Well, we know just what a fabulous city Sydney is. And let's just check out some of these incredible sights around Sydney, the famous pools and a lot of these beachside locations have pools built into them, which are really heavily frequented. In fact, over 100 beaches and swimming spots in the greater Sydney area. It's icebergs down there at Bondi. And of course, Bronte Baths. Oh, it's great to see all the players really enjoying Sydney and getting out and about around the grounds around Sydney. Well, it's been a wonderful start here for Marlene Helgo. Certainly the lower-ranked player and not favoured in this match. 
Down an early break and brings back on track. 3-2 on serve. And not overawed at all in this match so far. Well, she's a, a fantastic competitor as well. And if you just look at those two competing out there, you wouldn't think that there's such a big difference and such a big difference in uh, the you know, rankings as well. Helga outside of the top 500. And then you have Donna Vekic, who's 23 in the world. But uh, it's a matter of keeping up that level of tennis, I think, for Helga. That's the key. So far, she's doing great. Christian Ruth, she's quite happy too. Flattens it out, that forehand inside out. Feels so comfortable hitting that one. Helga, so far. Donna is trying to put in a little bit of uh, variety, but it's not really working. She knows she just can't hit just flat from the baseline. Yeah. Excellent disguise. I think that's probably the dossier on Donna Vekic. She's probably a little predictable at times. Very aggressive ball striker. We know that she's got the wonderful drop shot, but it's just adding more shape, creating angles. Probably the next step for her. Yeah, I feel like she's not finding the lines just yet as well. She's playing a lot through the middle part of the court. Very much once Donna hits her straps and plays well, she can go on and go deep in tournaments, but it needs to, to make a change quickly when it's not necessarily working for her. At the moment, she also has double the amount of unforced errors that Helga has. Ten for Vekic already. Yeah, she feels like she can't stay in the rally with Helga. She needs to do something. And there we are. That's the unforced errors. Defense here from Vekic. I would like to see Donna possibly move forward a little more and try and finish points at the net. We know how clean she hits the ball, powerful. Maybe just move up in the court and, and not be afraid to, whether it's even a drive volley or look to just finish, add that extra dimension. We know she can do it. from Vekic in this game. It's an important game, but I agree. I think Donna, the way she plays, she, she's got the ability to push her opponent off the baseline. She's just not getting enough depth at the moment on shot and not having that chance, like you said, Josh, to then control that middle part of the court and look to move forward and finish the points. Helgo's striking it just beautifully and obviously has that match under her belt, so is just looking very calm and composed out here.
that hitting from Helga. Excellent depth. It's very hard to push her behind the baseline, that's for sure. Yeah, you're right. She's holding baseline really well. Uh, one thing Donna could potentially do is, is just flick up that higher, loopier ball, maybe, and then look to step in. But at the moment, she's just loving, Helga's loving these rallies on top of the baseline. She feels, feels like she gets more and more rhythm. Vital break here for Team Norway. Four games in a row. 4-2, first set. I think Donna Vek Vekic might be a little bit uh, surprised as well of the level of Helga. But uh, she certainly needs to change something. Just hitting hard from the baseline, that's not enough. That's the one back in behind. Lovely. Just held it a fraction, this last backhand Donna Vekic, which, as you'll see here on this replay, Helgo covers and then pushes back to recover, but found wanting. to those lines, uh, Donna Vekic, especially when she changes uh, direction from cross court to down the line with that forehand. And then Helge was the one who was taking the opportunity. So the placement, that's something Vekic still has to work on in this match. It's really been the only part of the game that, that Vekic has really clearly been able to attack is that second serve. Because once the rally gets underway, Helgo has been very impressive with her ground strokes. A lot of frustration creeping in that Vekic has to, and this is the joy of this tournament, she's got Eva there, just to realise it is her first match. And this is the first set of a new season, just to not get too panicked about wanting to play your best tennis right now. Let's first look. It's, it's fair to say she's a little impatient, isn't she, Donna? She just seems to be just trying to win points too early. Yeah, maybe her expectation level is uh, very high of the way she wanted to play this first match. She put in so much work in the off-season, worked extremely hard. She wants to show it right away, but it's not that easy sometimes. The number 23 in the world on the court out there at the moment. 
Yes. Unbelievable level of tennis Helge is showing today. Has the right answers. Um. there from Vekic just wasn't able away. to do enough on that backhand cross court when she was able to open up the court. Let's for so. Yeah. Game really game classy game. play game. here from Marlene Helga. The team Norway in a strong position, 5-2, first set. Team Norway lead five games to two. A little smile on her face there. She's pretty happy with that performance, I think, and she should be. Playing consistent tennis, playing aggressive tennis, playing with controlled aggression as well. I love the way she moves on the court as well. She's very fast and quick. She gets ready for every single shot. Look at that intensity as well. She wants to win this. That's the beauty of these teams events. You, you're teaming up with Casper Ruud, who of course is a three-time Grand Slam champion, a finalist. And brings out the best in not just you know, the whole team. Plenty to learn about what the champions do. Well, it's a wonderful start here for Team Norway. Down to love in the first set here, but has reeled off five consecutive games, and great to see Marlene Helgo embracing this team event here at the United Cup. Donna Vekic needs to find a few solutions here, just a little eager and a little keen to try and finish off some of these rallies. Just patience. Yeah. is required. It seems like she's panicking a little bit in the shots as well. Hasn't uh, thought probably this match was going to be so much easier than uh, it is now. She finds herself down 5-2. Fifteen love. Oh. Thirty love. Well, it looks like Vekic has just used this change of ends to just settle down a little. Try and compose herself just the one breakdown and Casey you can just see here court side it, it, you know, you've got a bird's eye view you there. The, with the new balls it's it's quite quick out there yeah and the new balls certainly add some quickness and I think it's good that Donna got the new balls can just kind of settle here and also just seeing her and Eva communicate on change of ends 
really like the way that they have a, such a great, strong relationship. And I can see Donna just having her having a calming effect on Donna. seen many quick games throughout the course of this one so team Norway lead by one minute and 23 just what Donna Vekic would have wanted now just one game away here Marlene Helgo heart rate would be up a little bit trying to close out this first set that doesn't happen very often in her career hasn't happened very often in her career that she Serves for the set against uh, number 23 in the world. First serves up at around 70% of first serves in is Helgo. A lot more shape on the ball there from Donna, and it just enabled her to get that little bit more depth, forcing an error from Helga. Yeah, this is an excellent Love rally you. from Vekic, but in these crucial moments, trying to close out a set or a match, it's it's a different service game, isn't it, Casey? Sometimes you, it's all well and good early in a set, but in these pressure moments, it's it's not that easy to step up to the line when you are trying to to close a set out. Yeah, it's funny. Tennis is a funny game, isn't it? How <laughs> you can do something so well, and then in a big moment, the emotions and the the mentality can switch is when you've really got to go back to basics and, and think about what's worked pick a spot on serve think about the plus one shot she just gets time violation as well You know, between a good player and a very good player, a lot of times it's just uh, how do you play in those big moments, those important points. Helga just uh, pulled back a little bit, probably thinking too much that she has this chance, this opportunity to win this first set. And there comes Donna Vekic. Excellent stuff from Donna Vekic. She's reeled off eight consecutive points. And we are back on serve here. 5-4. Team Norway Team lead Norway first set. Well, just showing her experience here. Not a lot of panic when she was down 5-2. So Donna Vekic just... Getting things back on track. It's probably not a bad thing for her to have a match like that, you know, at the beginning of the year. It's nothing easier than just hitting somebody uh, off the court when you're feeling well. But if you have to work hard to earn your win, it's a different story. But she's still trailing in this first set, Donna Vekic. Ivan Dodik. 
left of screen. He's world number two in the rankings in the doubles, and of course, Eva may only right of shot. So, plenty of experience in Team Croatia. Yeah, they have a, a great team spirit. They all get along so well. They are very tight as well. Eva Maioli has been helping out Donna Vekic for ever. She's since she's pretty much picked up a racket. Time. It's always nice to have somebody on the bench who we can trust. First serve percentages will be important for Donna Vekic now. at the moment for Vekic. It was a bit lower at the beginning of this match. Down at 51, one point. So slowly but surely she's getting in there into this match. Seems to be thinking a little clearer now. Excellent disguise. Not that sign of panic that we saw early in the set. Trying to finish points quickly with the big ball striking. Fair to say, this type of rally that we're seeing from Helgo, that's where she's having success, holding the baseline, almost out hitting Vekic, which is not an easy thing to do. And while she was hitting the shot, that's why it landed long. Well, there's a couple of set points now for Marlene Helgo. Race to a 5-2 lead, wasn't able to close it out on serve, and now a chance here on return. Just catches the line. Marlene Helgo having a good look at it, but that is a second serve ace down. Set point, takes courage. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to say that's very gutsy. From Vekic. And that must be quite frustrating for Helgo as well. Still has one set point left. Do you know why? Nervous. Oh, man. Casey, that must have just caught the back of the line as well. <laughs> well, talk about going all out. That second serve, ace out wide, clipping the line. That one there, clipping the line. Not much Helga can do, so you've really just got to put those two points behind you and just say too good in that moment.
officer. competing from Donna Beckic. A lot of balls coming back that she's striking so well. She's having to work particularly hard here. Yeah, she certainly has to work hard. Once again, she's uh, taking quite a bit of time in between the points just to reset. Just to think about, okay, what am I going to do next? Developed a beautiful routine there. You can just see there, it's probably just clipping the outside of the line. Juice. She's not even checking the, the replay or the mark on the big screen. Well, sometimes it's uh, wishful thinking, isn't it? When you're out there on the court and you think, okay, that was definitely wide and was actually not. First serve percentage. That's what she needs. Advantage Team Croatia. Again from Vekic, yeah, had to yeah. fight off a couple of set points Team on the serve. Five games all. Did it in style, we are locked at five all, first set. That's going to go a long way, isn't it? When you, I know we think short term, but even these type of matches when you're 5-2 down and sometimes your back feels against the wall, first match of the season, but that's a super effort from Donna Vekic and courageous in terms of the tennis that she played. Now we're leveled up at 5 all here. Interested now to see the response from Helgoads as a player when you've been up 5-2, had a couple of set points, and it's now 5 all. Cannot afford to go back into her shell. She has put herself in this position by being aggressive. Oh, classy. Yeah, we've seen her doing that a lot more against a, a rancher, Russ, coming to the net. She's quite handy with the volleys. Of course, it's a different pace out there against the Vekic today as well. Much harder to find the time to come in. He's picking a fraction late. Just needs to get a, a couple of centimetres more out in front. Just lifted her upper body a bit too soon, didn't she? Well, you've got to love this off backhand. It's not used that often in on the forehand side of the court when you return, but used it to perfection here, Vekic. Yes. 
Sturgill. Life can be so much easier when you hit a good serve. Get the short ball. Helgi looks very comfortable putting those ones away. Big point here for both players. They're yeah, really spreading the court here. Opens up the, point the court with a beautiful slider wide. And she went out wide a couple of times in a row now. We'll see if she goes for that one again. Yes. Sometimes when the ball is a bit uh, shorter, it seems like Helge is hesitating slightly to move into the court. Her footwork laterally is very, very strong. Advantage to Norway. Yes. Happens more on the backhand, doesn't it, compared to the forehand. I mean, she's not positioning herself the correct way towards the ball. Just a bit too far away, a bit too close sometimes. That's when the unforced error is coming. I think that's the reason why we don't see Donna Vekic at the net that too much. She doesn't feel 100% no uh, comfortable, especially with the, the classic volley. She doesn't mind the topspin volley.
such good ball striking here from Vekic. Just showing her experience deep in this first set. Brings up break point. Great response Team from Donna Vekic. Hits back and has reeled Team off four Croatia consecutive lead. games and now with a chance to close out the first set, lead 6 5 first set. Start 10 30. Yeah. So may or not have had the full complement of breakfast at the buffet. <laughs> Two in that first set now has got things back on track and a chance to close out this first set serving at 6-5 for Team Croatia. Yeah, she looks uh, extremely calm and Time. focused. Dona Vekic, I think uh, she should be confident now to serve this one out. This first set. She's got the experience. That's what she needs to tell herself and that's what she would tell herself. The woman across the net is outside of the top 500. She had her opportunities to win that first set, so now she wants to take this. Great play, isn't it? Just that slider wide where you can really draw your opponent off the court. Opens up the court for the, the big forehand. Seconds. Oh. You think it's self belief for Helga when you don't get to play on these big stadiums and big matches and chances to close out. Just going for a little too much, you think, Barbara? Well, I think in general, when you um, look at her ranking, she's 539, but you watch her play and uh, you think, OK, she's a great tennis player. So it must be a mental thing with Helga that uh, in important moments, she doesn't believe in herself. She gets too tight. Well, I actually chatted to Kasper the other day during her match and that was the one thing that he said I said what does she need to do in this first set to close it out against Arantxa Rus and he said she just he, she needs to believe in herself and she needs to believe that she plays the type of tennis that she can beat these players and I think it's like deja vu happening out here again yeah so that must be a bit of a problem how do you get that self belief is the question that's the 40, challenge 15. Donna Vekic earns herself 
a couple of set points. Odi drugi na van, ajmo. And that's a great fight yeah, from Dona Vekic. Team Croatia. Team Croatia loving it as you would. 7-5 Seven Seven first set. Yeah, that should give uh, Dona Vekic a lot of uh, confidence. She had to work extremely hard to win this first set. It was down a couple of set points uh, already. Probably didn't 100% feel the ball, didn't have her rhythm was a bit surprised the way Helga was playing as well but uh, she found a way and that's what matters and those sets when you win them they are worth so much more I believe than when you just go out there and hit somebody off the court yeah, that's a confidence booster isn't it everyone gets involved now in the coaching <laughs> <laughs> well it's almost a sense of relief relief for, for everyone involved as we take a look at some of these stats here and I thought Barbara it's fair to say the first serve percentage got a lot better there for Donna Vekic as that first set went on and really one of the big points I thought just didn't panic when she was under under the, the pump really down 5-2 no, she certainly was. So mentally, from her side, it was actually uh, a really, really great set of wonderful comeback. I mean, you can see the unforced error. She has 20 on her side. Normally, she doesn't come up uh, with them. I think at the beginning of uh, the, the match, she also struggled a little bit to find those lines to spread the ball, but uh, she certainly did at the end. Well, some... Incredible ball striking in this first set from both players. Helgo, particularly early in the set, was very, very clean with her shot making, but it was Donna Vekic with the fight back, down 5-2, reeling off five consecutive games, and look what it means for Team Croatia. They have nabbed the first set 7-5. It must be so frustrating for Malene Helge, though, losing uh, this first set. She gets so close every single time. She was close against Arancha Russ. And last year, when she played the United Cup against Hadad Maya, against uh, Trevisan, but she can never close it out. So I think uh, it's all up uh, in the head. It's certainly not her tennis. And that's uh, one of the hardest parts, as, as we know, to work on the belief in yourself to know exactly what to do when well each team zone has plenty of stats and information and analysis Casper Rude is sitting in the back there but his father Christian Rude is the captain and they'll be pouring through placement. all the stats and yeah. serve locations percentages and any yeah. type of advantage they can get from using this live but that, does, that, does that make a difference at the end? I think it's, uh, it's more a mental thing of, of Helga. I mean, she has been playing a fan fantastic tennis. She played the right tactic as well. So you can analyze this as much as you want. I think it, the key is trying to put it all together, isn't it? Yeah. And that's the hard part in tennis over the course of hours to just always be switched on to realize when there's an important moment to believe in herself yourself to know exactly where your strengths are 
And that's what Donovekic has done so well. Just fueled up, had a few more bites <laughs> to eat. Elaine Helge is on a toilet break, she's back again. Well, next up, you'll get to see this man, Borna Chorich. He is their number one singles player, Team Croatia. He'll have a tough assignment taking on always Kasper Ruud. Kasper was particularly impressive in his first round win, I thought. Time. So it's sort of panic from the captain here. But you do get the feeling, Barbara, this first five or ten minutes is pretty crucial in this match for her to stay with Donna Vekic. Yeah, totally. And uh, I remember that a couple of days ago when she lost the first set against the Rancho uh, seven. Six, we were thinking, okay, how much longer can she hang on? How did she digest or does she digest losing that first set? Second set. She hung in there for her first couple of games and then she fell apart. So uh, we'll see what happens today. Went for a little bit too much there. Just took the eye off the ball, saw the point too soon. Konovekic, not happy with that. Barbara, do you, do you think that it's the intensity, it's a struggle here for Helgo when you, you, you're primarily playing a lower ranked player or lower tournaments, it's the intensity, it's consistent, isn't it, throughout the course of a match for these top ranked players, but for Helgo, yeah, this, I mean, this is important to hold on right here, isn't it? Totally. I mean, that's going to be crucial for uh, Helga, and uh, it's all about the experience as well. I mean, Dona, Dona Bekic has been playing on this level for so many years, uh, year in, year out, uh, every, you know, so many times, and she's used to it. She probably doesn't even have to think about it anymore, Dona Bekic. And for Helga, it's something completely new. 
to play against uh, you know a player who's top top 30 and uh, there's not a lot of ups and downs so it's it's very hard for her to keep that uh, concentration level that intensity up because she's never exposed to that yeah, it's probably fair to expect a player to come out and maintain it for half an hour or, or 45 minutes but as a, that gets extended that's when it's it's more challenging and that's when you have to find routines as well mentally not just the, the way you're hitting the ball, but the, your way of thinking, control your thoughts. And the more times you're in these situations like that, the more experienced you are, the more you know how you are reacting and what you have to do. Well, Casey Delacroix is courtside in Team Norway, and it's been a, a pretty impressive start, Casey, down there. Yeah, it has. It's been a wonderful first set from Maylene. Obviously didn't get the win, but I am with um, Perth local Aussie boy, Scott Webster, who has been on tour for a number of years. Um, what finds yourself in uh, Team Norway camp? It's a kind of funny one, but uh, when I was travelling the storm the last 15 months, uh, I always love to get out there and hit a bit. So one morning I was out hitting with some of the Rafa Nadal crew and met the Rude family. And yeah, when uh, when they when Christian heard that I was free, he messaged me and asked if I could help his uh, daughter out and her cousin Josephine as well. And I was more than happy to do it. So yeah. Oh, that's awesome! What an experience. And tell us a little. Can you give us a bit of an insight into Team Noi? Just the professionalism, the the drive from the the Rude family. Yeah, genuinely just some of the nicest people, um, all the players on the team, the surrounding team as well. So they've been really nice to me and, yeah, very welcoming. So it's been good. I don't understand them much, but <laughs> it's been it's been really fun. <laughs> and um, just lastly, I saw you quickly um, going through the iPad. What, what do you think Maylene needs to do just to get over the line? He was a bit about self-belief or what from a game perspective? And to be honest, uh, Donna's got some pretty particular patterns, especially on when she's break point down and it's just trusting that she's going to go for those uh, especially on the juice side she loves to bail out with the wide serve on second so just trying to get her to just trust that it's going to be there and um, be okay if Donna does come up with some good stuff because she's she's good at doing it so yeah awesome great to chat thanks Scott thanks Cass uh, Scott Webster there courtside with Casey Delacqua and it's a, a family affair tennis with the the Rude family. We've got the father. He was Captain Christian Casper, of course, playing, and the sister as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah correct. Uh, Charlotte Rude, she is trying to make it on the WTA tour as well. She's traveling a lot of times uh, with uh, her brother to tournaments where she just uh, practices. And uh, it's certainly a family affair. The mum is here as well. And it's the mum on the, the left, Casper's girlfriend, Maria on the right. Lovely, lovely family, I have to say. Whenever I bump into them, we have a good chat, a good laugh, very down to earth. Christian looking extremely focused now.
Touch it up. Still he's struggling with uh, the unforced errors there. 24 for Donna Vekic, but she's trying to be aggressive. She knows it. She, not, she wants to step into the court, take the ball early. Third yeah, shot there of Ivan Dodik. He's going through the the analysis to see if he can pick up any patterns of play. And as we sort of know, most of these players do have patterns on big points and go-to plays. And interesting here, Casey talk court side courtside with Scott as. They've identified there's some clear patterns that Vekic will go to. Oh. Uh, another great service game yeah, from Marlene yeah, Helgo. First set, Donna Vekic, 2-1, Team Norway, Team Norway lead, lead, second set. Been out and about around okay. the grounds here right. in Going New South the Wales uh, and Sydney, line. the capital of Australia. That is Taronga Zoo, iconic part of Sydney here, where you see lots of native Australian animals, the koalas, kangaroos, where most of the players have had the opportunity just to catch the ferry across there and possibly even go on to Manly. They do have a bird's eye view, there's no doubt about it. And you can see Christian Wood, he's got the iPad. Just trying to find okay. uh, any patterns uh, here. Hang up, hang up. So, really, for this, I'm going to talk game here now. That's all. Opening day of 2004 here in Sydney at the United Cup. And it's Team Norway up against Croatia. This is Group F. Second match for Norway. They lost in a tight one a few days ago to the Netherlands. It's the debut of Croatia here at this year's United Cup. And they've got themselves off to a solid start here with Donna Vekic wrapping up the opening set 7-5 when we're on serve 2-1 second set. use this backhand down the line. That's when she's gaining in confidence. I feel this really is one of her best shots in her game. It definitely is her best shot, and I love it how she just uh, notices, okay, Helga is moving into the middle. She can wrong foot her. She did that beautifully. to change the pace there, which was a, a good thing to do for Donna Vekic, but it was just too short, not enough spin. Got to play these shots as aggressive as if you were going to go for the shot. Oh. 
15, 13. Let's go. So. Let's go. So. Let second serve. Let second serve. Set early. That's good aggression from Helgo. Earns herself a break point. See that got that racket a little behind, didn't she? The contact point, Helgo just needs to get it out in front. She recognizes it. Yeah, now, Vekic must be thinking, okay, what's my best serve? Good chance it's gonna go out wide to open up the court. We'll see. Oh. Didn't listen to me. <laughs> One thing that Scott had raised on that juice court, Babsy, is that in big points, she does like and favour that one out wide. Something that Helga was covering then. But she does have that natural tendency on serve, don't you think, that she just comes around the ball? So it's always probably going to slightly come into the forehand of Helga. Yeah, she has a, a natural slicer, doesn't she? that backhand she can uh, play when you wake her up at two o'clock in the morning to back and down the line feels so comfortable with it that's when you need a first serve in this moment That's the one, isn't it? The slider wide that Casey and Barbara were talking about. It's a, 
It's a natural service motion that she has and just cuts around at the top of the ball toss. Donovekic. Great point. Yeah. Seeing glimpses of the brilliance from Donovekic, but just trying to put it all together. That's what she's working hard towards. Yeah, the big thing uh, that stood out, I think, uh, was in the first set. I think at the beginning she was really trying to find out how Helge uh, was playing and what her strategy was. And uh, she just started uh, to spread the ball a little bit better. Turn Vekic wanting, but again, it's Helgo who has produced so many incredible shots on end range. Yeah, and again, certainly a lot better player than what the ranking is 500, and we know that. Helgo has faced quite a few injuries over the past 12 to 18 months. So a real springboard here at the United Cup to play a couple of big matches on this Ken Rosewell Arena should set her year up just nicely. We thought that was going to happen last year. Remember when she played the United Cup in, in Brisbane, we thought, okay, her ranking does not reflect the way she plays. And she was ranked about 300 then. She should be a top 100 player, I believe. I'm a true player of a game, either one. Once again for Team Norway, comfortable hold, and they need 3-2 second set. All right, let's have a little bit of a look at uh, some of the analysis we have got for you. That's uh, the rally placement for Donna Vekic, the first seven games in the first set. You can see that she's uh, yeah, trying to spread the ball, of course, a lot through the middle as well. Hasn't found her range, but then there was a big difference after game seven. So really attacking the back end of Helga a lot more. She's finding her range as well, and I think that's why she won that first set. That's the key also for the second set. I think this, the back end of Helga is certainly the wing where she can do less damage. But uh, Donna Vekic still has to do a lot of work here. Yeah, it certainly was noticeable as that set went on that she was hitting more into the backhand side there of Helga. And Helga just making a few unforced errors, just lifting up, not getting it early enough. So good stats there on Helga. 
Very evenly poised here in the opening match here on the Ken Rosewall Arena. You can see Donovekic really using the, the ice bags all match. Humid conditions today in Sydney. Had a little bit of rain overnight, a bit of moisture in the air. Time. Yeah, they've only arrived uh, a few days ago, so um, it's not easy when you're coming from European winter to get used to the humidity, to the temperatures here. It's not a very hot day today, but still. I might just check in with uh, Casey. She's courtside. And are you sensing either player struggling with a little bit of heat or conditions down there, Casey, or is it fairly pleasant? It's fairly pleasant, to be honest. I, I, you definitely can feel a bit of humidity, but I do like to see players putting in that preparation and being on top of it, because as we saw with Jasmine Paolini the other night, she started cramping and it was almost got too late for her wear. There was no coming back, so all these players know when they're coming down under to be prepared, and, and it has to start days before you arrive and, and, and hit the court as well. Love this game. Yeah, you almost have to come out 10 days earlier, I think, minimum. But uh, it's always around Christmas, so <laughs> a lot of players don't want to leave home. It's a tricky one. That's too good. Lovely. That's such a, a hard return to hit. It was uh, never one of my favorites, that's for sure. But that just looked effortless. Look how... Quickly, she takes the racket back. She stays stable there. And I think Becky was surprised. That was not a bad first serve. I'm really impressed with Helga and obviously disappointment losing that first set. And you both mentioned it, just her response. But this has been impressive in the second set. The other, the other match when she played her on to Rus, I felt like she went away a little bit. But she's certainly hanging tight here right now. Again, it's the redirecting of this backhand down the line. This is not an easy shot in tennis, but Vekic just does it with ease. Yeah, I was just thinking, because there was not a lot of depth uh, in Helga's uh, shots, except that last one, and that's when Vekic decided to go down the line. So when uh, Helga probably least expected it, Sometimes um, Vekic, she's not moving quick enough after her serve. And that is so important that you stay on your toes, that you're ready. Pushes it a fraction wide, and that is the break for Helgo. 4-2, second set. I feel like a lot of the chat in Team Norway's team zone is, is really assisting Melina here today. Just being aware of those patterns that Vekic favours. Yeah. Obviously, there's an element where, like you just mentioned, Babsy, with that backhand, there might be some exceptional shots. But generally, it seems like they've really picked up some patterns that are helping Helga out here.
Take a look at the winners, fairly even there at 22 apiece. Unforced errors favouring Helgo just down at 18, and Donovekic, as you would expect, being the more aggressive player, up at 29. Physicality side of things is is important for Donna Vekic. The movement when she puts that all together, moves well, gets a reasonable high percentage of first serves in, and then can use her great ball striking. That's when she's at her best. Ooh. Fifteen twenty. Body surf, which was not uh, too bad. Also, such a hard return to hit that back head inside out. Well, I think it just shows you the skill level of Donna Vekic. She really knows where her racket face is upon impact most of the time. And such a, a talented ball striker, we know that. There you go. Charlotte Wood on the right with her cousin. 40, 30. Okay. Here they are again. She will have put in a practice session already this morning. It must be so motivating to be here amongst all these uh, professionals. Looks pretty happy. but comes up, trumps, and leads 5-2 in the second set. First set for Croatia. I love the intensity from uh, Helga. Certainly hasn't given up or anything, hasn't dropped her intensity level. Still going for her shots, and I wonder how Dona Vekic is feeling. You know, we talked about it, that they've only arrived a few days ago here in Australia. It's uh, a bit of fresh out there. Footwork looks a little bit slower. Uh, it's probably, you know, to be expected, it's an hour and 50 minutes. It's been quite a long match yep. so far. And it only takes a slip of concentration or physicality, which we did see. Okay. Yeah, and she's paying the price in the second set, Donna Vekic. Helgo representing Norway. It was up 5-2 in the first set and couldn't close out the opening set. It was a great fight back from Donna Vekic. She finds herself in the exact same position right now. 5-2 in the second. Up against a very experienced Donna Vekic. And that's when Helgo has to think, okay, what am I going to do differently now? How do I approach this uh, set now the opportunity that i can actually win this what have i done wrong maybe in the first set what was my way of thinking so you want to see a difference here now she's still the underdog at the end of the day but believe
59. And that's what I meant with the footwork of uh, Becky. She's just one step a little bit too slow at the moment. She was pushed behind the baseline, Helga there. Doesn't like to be there. For Helga, it's really important to stay aggressive with her footwork, with her shots as well. And when you do get nervous, sometimes that's a bit of a problem. You slow down, you're hesitant. She needs to push herself to be aggressive and dictating. a little bit of fatigue's coming into play for Vekic. She's definitely, as you mentioned, Babsy, not getting those short, explosive steps around the ball. When she's not in position, she's obviously making unforced errors, but she's also not getting up and out of the serve. Much leg drive. back on her own side and again Helga in a great position earns her first set point in set number two. this time but uh, I think it was the right thing to do to go for it she had that second serve had to set points in the first set remember this was the first one in the second set for Helga Great rally from both players, but Helga just uh, at the end yeah. moved pressure. away from uh, that back and moved too quickly towards the middle. That's why it landed in the net. And that's where she now has to stay calm and stay positive. Beautiful. Yeah. Haven't seen many drop Team shots Korea. in the second set from Donna Vekic, but this is executed to perfection. Team She's done a couple of times, hasn't she, after playing the serve to hit a drop shot. That's when, uh, of course, the opponent is usually moving backwards. Plays it at the right time. So Helga sees herself in the same situation as in the first set. Probably a, probably a little conservative, I thought, in the first set in those big moments. Didn't quite step up to the line and really back herself and go for it. So let's see if she's learnt from that first set.
Too good. That's the way, and that's so important to win that first point as well. She looked a lot more stable in her approach and in her shot. Helge, also important now, the first serve percentage. Body serves. She was so happy to see that the drop shot was long, that she could get there easily, and then just took the eye off the ball and missed it. And that's something which shouldn't happen at this moment of the match, where every point counts. Smart serve. Yeah, it's not always about the speed, it's about the placement, that's for sure. And that's what I was uh, referring to, that uh, it's so important to get the first serve in at this moment. at all here this may have looked easy but it wasn't especially when you're trying to close out a set the ball goes up it's sometimes it can be hard to see once it goes into the roof so again it's Helgo earning more set points two on serve pretty much right away after that second serve only had 111 kilometers an hour it was a little bit too slow she still got uh, one left that's where she has to come up with her best serve So that mm. must have just caught the line, and <laughs> you can just see the, uh, the, the look on Helgo's face. Yeah, look, if she looks back on all the set points that she has had, I mean, the, yeah, maybe there's a couple that she could have been a little bit more aggressive, but she hasn't really done too much wrong. And look at that one. That was painted the line once again. They could just seem to do that on these set points. Oh. Just catching enough of the line. Back to Juice. That's better. Yeah, she needs to take the initiative. Helga, that's for sure. You don't want to have any regrets in these moments when you, you know, you're not in that same ranking band. You want to get up and really go for it. You can see just standing a little different here on serve, right up near the doubles sideline. And well thought out and well played. Team Norway. Team Norway. We are locked at one set all here, the United Cup. Yeah, that must be a big relief for Helga that she could capture that second set. I love the way she approached it. You know, it must have been so frustrating for her to lose the first set after having had a couple of set points, but she hung in there. She's a fantastic competitor, and the approach now at the end, you know, when it was juice, was very aggressive, and I love that. You can't just wait for your opponent to miss. No, I think the fact that we saw her change around in her service stance and come as 
gave us something different. I think it just shows that she really is thinking clearly under pressure, which is really, really good signs there. There's still a few more unforced errors in this second set from Donna Vekic compared to Helge. The Look at the first serve yeah. uh, points, Wanna. That's a big difference there. Yeah, that, that just shows you how important it is if Norway is to go on to win this match. Helgo does have to make a lot of first serves because when she gets that first serve in, that percentage is very healthy up at 83%. Well, some of the highlights here, set two highlights. It was clean ball striking from both players. But in the end, it was all Team Norway. And if you look at uh, them physically, both of them, I have to say Helga looks, looks a little bit more fresh out there at the moment. We talked about it, Donna Vekic maybe slowing down just a little bit, not moving to the ball quick enough, fast enough. So I feel like the energy-wise, Helga has the edge in the third set. We know she can play tennis. We know she can do anything if she believes in herself. And that certainly would be one of her biggest career wins, if not her biggest career win ever, if she could beat Donna Vekic. But there's still a lot of tennis to be played until we find out who will win this first tie, this first match. You suspect the message would be to maintain the aggressive game style. That's what's put Helgo in this strong position. Keep backing her, her shots move physically because I'm sure Team Norway would, would have noticed that Donna is a little, little fatigued at times. Match time now over two hours. And it's important for Helga to think I'm not happy with just winning a set against Donna Vekic. I can do more because I know I've been there. You know, the first times I played against big players and I won a set, I was like, oh, this is pretty good. And then you just, you're gone. She's also got nothing to lose now. She's always been the underdog coming into this match, but it's a real confidence booster to get through that second set. But what impressive tennis. Absolutely. And Casey, if, if Helgo was able to cause an upset, Casper Ruud is their male player. And put them in a good position in Group F. Yeah, and the other day they were very, very close to winning that mixed doubles against the Team Netherlands. They didn't get the win, but every point and every match and every set counts in this format. But really impressive. And, and I think we've talked about it throughout this entire match, just around the fact that her ranking is not a reflection upon the type of player that she is. And you mentioned it, Bubsy, about being top 100. And I, I truly believe that ball striking and the way that we've seen her, that she should be having some you know, pretty high goals. I'm not across her injuries or what perhaps she's dealt with over the last couple of years, but she certainly should be playing at least qualifying of Grand Slams and really and being amongst that type of players. That's the beauty of this event, Casey, isn't it? The United Cup that... You, you see some of these teams where they have a very strong player and leader in Casper Ruud, and it can change careers. You, can, you get to be around a team environment, you get self-belief, and you can leave these types of events where you think, I do belong there and I can compete with the very best. It's just a little bit rough when you have to go back and play the small tournaments. There's uh, no ball kids, there's no umpire. You're playing on court number 52. Maybe she's a big court player. <laughs> Helga. Certainly has been today, a very big match player. Kasper mum on the left looks pretty happy. <laughs> Watching uh, the action here live. Maria, the girlfriend of Kasper, probably sending her boyfriend a quick text before he has to play. Maybe a few New Year's wishes to her friends back home as well. Just turned you're back in Europe as well. Yeah, my brother just called me actually. He said I was working. <laughs> Don't call me. <laughs> so Donna Bekic just off the court at the moment. She'll be back any second. Yeah, this could also be a bit of a tactical thing just to 
take her time. Donna, Donna Vekic to break the rhythm, make Helga think a little bit more. Just trying to reset. Uh, and reset, yeah. Really important. I, and the set, or what are the sort of things that you would be telling yourself when you're starting a third set? Well, I always believe, uh, you know, that the first point, first couple of points are, are key, that you want to win them. I'm sure um, Donna Vekic will tell herself, OK, just try to move well. Try to believe in yourself. Try to get Helga out of her comfort zone. I think um, if she wants to be Helga today, she needs to put in a little bit of uh, variation, use that drop shot, maybe throw in that uh, heavy topspin, that higher topspin every now and then. about set to start this third set. There was a change of outfit for Donna Vekic just to freshen up. That helps sometimes as well. Final set. Team Croatia to serve. She got away with it, Helga. I think she could have uh, easily hit a topspin volley there. Also, if you look at the body language uh, of the two of them, Helga is upbeat at the moment. Donna Vekic moving a little bit slower in between the points. Well, it's, it's, it's easier, isn't it, if you're the lower ranked player and you can swing and go for it and of course the pressure all on Vekic right from the start and when your opponent is playing as well as Helgo has can't be easy for Vekic and Barbara it's fair to say all matched there, there, there's no real obvious weakness in the Helgo game there's no signs of all right the backhand is way weaker or forehand it's it's very solid so this is a real challenge here for Donna Vekic. Needs to find some, some solutions on how to beat her opponent here. of returns on that side but uh, that's the way to go needs to stay aggressive I definitely think that Helga loves or prefers playing on a hard court compared to the clay court
juice. I'm happy. No, and you can see that it's not within the realms of her game style to play with shape and to be patient. She wants to go for the ball. Doesn't get too many free points, so that comes in handy for Donna Vekic. Certainly hasn't today, has she? It's nope. been a, a struggle to really find cheap points on serve. Makes no mistake of it this time. That's a good opening service hold for Donna Vekic. One love, final set. This was excellent response here. Great hands and doesn't overplay. And I think it's hard sometimes for, for Donna. She has a lot of power and a, a lot of weapons, not just from the backhand, it's on both sides. And she has a lot of options. I think sometimes just trying to narrow the focus and play solid is maybe not that easy for her mentally to do. Yeah, and let's not forget, this is the first match of the year for Donna Vekic and um, she's still trying to probably implement a lot of things she's been working on. They've only arrived a few days ago, so things are not uh, maybe 100% going her way, but she's put herself in a good position in this third set. Casey, I know you're heavily involved with the United Cup, and for Helgo, this would be massive in terms of, of points and prize money. It would be a real boost for someone, certainly in her ranking band, if she was able to get a win right here today against Donna Vekic. Yeah, absolutely. There's not many opportunities that you get to play a, a tour event and have the opportunity to gain vital ranking points. We know she wants to get her ranking up, but also the, the prize money for these players to not only compete, but when they win matches, they obviously get extra money. So the prize money pool is equal across men and women, and it's all up for grabs for these players. That's why it's such a, a massive event in terms of prize money, points... Just lost focus of that ball. Finds herself in a bit of trouble on surf. Helga. And hopefully, I mean, we're talking about the, the points she could make, the money she could make. Hopefully she's not thinking about that just yet and get uh, gets carried away. Hard not to, isn't it, though? If yeah. you're out there playing and, you know, that there's a $15 million prize money pool for this United Cup, which is massive. And as Casey uh, is... Just informed that each match you get points which go towards your individual ranking. And all 
of that is extremely important, 30, 30. of course, but like we've all kind of spoke about, hopefully win or lose this match, she walks away and walks off the court in a real clear space of what she's capable of, what she needs to work on, because Donna's a very good player and a very highly ranked player, of course, so I think Helga can take a lot of positives from this. Gets a little bit of help from uh, Donna Vekic. Just too close to the ball. wasn't it from Helga she's showing such self-belief and Vekic tried the change of uh, pace and I think that still she has to do that a little bit more often even though she didn't win the point but it makes Helga think you can't just keep on hitting the same shot against uh, the Norwegian go down a break so well done for Marlene Helgo fighting off a few break points she's hitting the ball so clean isn't she the sound of when uh, the ball touches her string is just beautiful important hole that was for Helgo Well, this is the first time in a long time that uh, Vekic is getting a few free points, especially on her surf. And that uh, would be certainly a confidence boost if she can win this game that quickly. First serve. Game. A relatively comfortable service hold right there for Donna Vekic, and she needs it. On serve in this third set. 2-1. Team Croatia. Being great crowds. 
so far at this year's United Cup. Really well supported. A couple of sessions a day. You have a day session and a night session. Team Croatia and Team Norway. Norway's played their first match where they are lost in a nail biter to Nor to the Netherlands. This is Group F where it's Croatia's first match. Day here at the United Cup and Donna Vekic just making sure she is staying hydrated and with plenty of nutrition and we looked to have struggled a little more physically than her opponent today. Yeah, she certainly did, especially in the second set. Uh, movement slowed down just a little bit. It seems like she's regrouped a little bit now, but you know, that first set, uh, the first match Time. of uh, the year in Australia, it's always hot. I remember that. I had a couple of heat strokes uh, many, many years ago. First up, uh, thank God uh, the temperatures are not that high, not that hot today, but there's still the humidity and still the jet lag and everything. So at the moment, Donna Vekic is fighting everything. But she's hanging in there. Fifteen love. Let's go so. He just hasn't quite found team. that right balance of aggression or just making that return. Donna Vekic, certainly to her lofty standards, when she's playing well, it's it's one of her strong points of the game. But I think something she would like to build on for the remainder of this match is the return. So That's you. better. Yeah, it's probably hard for her to accept, you know, that she's out there against somebody who's over 500 in the rankings and, and she's actually battling. She need, needs to work really, really hard. You have to get your head around it because when you're 23 in the world and you think, okay, playing against somebody like that, that's going to be easy. One-way traffic, not the case. The return right there. That just, you have to find a way. If you have time to get your racket on the ball, you really want to get that back in play and give yourself a chance. But particularly on a 30 all point, just try and build and create a bit of pressure. Nice turn a row. So great Game service hold once again. Marley and Helgo. Norway, two all, third set. 
Yeah, especially in the returns, I feel like that Vekic hasn't found her rhythm at all. I mean, she can come up with a couple of great ones, you know, with good depth, but then a lot of unforced errors, definitely. you got to make your opponent play. you got to give yourself the opportunity as well and make that return. I think that's really important. And Casey, this is the sort of match when you're playing for your country and early in the season, really. This may not feel it at the moment for Vekic, but this is the sort of match that you want. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've been out here for two and a half hours. You always want court time. I and mean, she's certainly got probably more court time than she thought. These new balls certainly help Vekic. She just gets that little bit more zing through her serve and to the back of the court. But I think you're right. I think on serve, just lacking a little bit of leg drive and a little bit of extra pop. And when you have really strong leg drive, that's where the power comes from on serve. And then you can get up and shape around the ball and through it with more pace. She does look fresher, though, since she's come out of the toilet break after the second set. I feel like she obviously changed her outfit, probably freshened up, had a good five-minute break, and I do feel like she's done the right things on change of ends just to make sure that she has enough left in the tank here for this third set. Game two, oh, finishes it off with an ace. Does Donna. Yes, that's for sure. point so crucial as a returner and Vekic with the advantage of serving first into the set certainly should give her a bit more freedom and ability to to go for it here on return she wants good depth on the returns make the opponent play as well and i think sometimes you don't have to actually place it to the sidelines when you go deep through the middle it's actually so much harder to create an angle so smart play from vekic games for Donna Vekic, a lot more patient and with this quality of ball striking, 
brings up three break points. That's it, the one-two combination. Excellent return, sets up a short reply. And it is Donna Vekic with the vital break in this third set, 4-2. She looked extremely calm, didn't she, out there in this uh, return game, Donna Vekic. It's almost like she was waiting for this one. She said, OK, now it's time to break. Much better returning as well from her. I think the returning at times has been has has been has been solid, but it's been the next shot off the return that hasn't quite been as as positive as Vekic would have liked at times. But in that last game, that was excellent. Oh. Love 15. It's quite an aggressive approach on that second serve from Helga. Yeah, she needs to respond here. She knows it, knows it. Otherwise, this match could be over. Let's for so. Shot. I really admire that the ability here of Donna Vekic just to change direction. She was off balance on the back foot. This is a deep reply and just gets it, times it to perfection. It was a, a phenomenal shot, but still Helga needs to know that. that that's uh, Vekic's best shot. She needs to try and be ready for that one down the line. Let's Finding out those patterns during a match when you play against someone. They keep repeating themselves. Yeah, re really well done here on this first serve. 13, 15. And Casey, you just get a little inkling here that this is where the self-belief needs to be a little a little stronger, you would think, for Helgo. Yeah, and also just the sustainability of the quality of play that I think we spoke about right at the beginning. How long could she do that for? Well, yeah, it's all Donna Vekic Croatia. at the moment. And Team Croatia just one game away from a victory here, lead 5-2. Third set. The last nine points, only one point went to Helga. So certainly a bit of a, a, a change of momentum in favor for Donna Vekic in that third set. Thank you. 
So Donovekic on the cusp here of putting Team Croatia 1-0 up here. Leads 5-2. But next up, it is this man, three-time Grand Slam finalist, Kaspar Ruud, who will take on Croatia's Borna Choric. That's next up here on Ken Rosewell Arena. And time. World number 23, Donovekic. Get it done. Can she close out here? Things are looking uh, pretty good for Donna Vekic at the moment, that's for sure. She has the edge, she has the experience. Let's for some. Fifteen now. Oh. Let's see if you see. Touch 30 all here, desperate for Helgo to hold on. Just try and force Vekic to at least have to serve it out. Plenty of this all match. Really aggressive ball striking. No hesitation whatsoever.
Well, I've seen plenty of it. It's the best shot from Donna Vekic. It's the backhand down the line. And she looks uh, so calm and convinced now, doesn't she? Donna Vekic. So match point after two hours and 45 minutes. Donna Vekic. She would have played nearly for three hours, Donna Vekic. <laughs> what a way to start the year. Just a little bit too late, isn't she? The way she takes back the racket. Very well done here from Marlene Helgo. Fights off a match point. Team pressure lead five into three. And it will now be Donna Vekic attempting to close this one out on serve. Yeah, Donna Vekic's service games, the last uh, couple were pretty straightforward, so I'm sure she's confident there. Got a few more free points. Shot. Certainly done that a lot better in the third set. Yeah, remember in the first set and sometimes parts of the second set after the serve, she didn't quite uh, move her feet enough. And this time she was aggressive with her footwork, stepped into the court, and it's uh, just so much easier than to put your opponent under pressure. Interesting technique, though. <laughs> Jim warming up. He would be pretty happy with the fight that he's seen from Marlene Helgo. Yeah, she likes to hit the forehands hip height, doesn't she? Donna Vekic, whatever is uh, coming a little bit differently. That's why she sometimes struggles. An excellent service game. After having a match point in the previous return game, there hasn't been any panic here from the experienced campaigner, Donna Vekic, with two match points. Oh. 
And finishes it in style. Donovekic gets the point. Team Croatia, one love. Two hours and uh, 49 minutes. Donovekic had to work for this victory. She will be so relieved. She had to really, really work hard and leave everything out there. Absolutely, the whole pressure. All match has been on Donna Vekic and must remember she fought off a couple of set points in that first set. Fought hard, got that opening set 7-5 and under pressure in the second. But the third set was really when we saw the best of Donna Vekic. Great relief and joy. What I love as well was uh, just mentally the way she reacted she could have been very down on herself she could have been very negative out there on the court but she wasn't she just uh, took it as it was and certainly deserved to win and Helga, wow that was a great match she'll learn plenty from that casey delacqua is down with a very very happy donna vekic I certainly am. Donna Vekic, wow. At the beginning of any season, you want to get court time. Two hours and 49 minutes was perhaps a little bit of extra court time that you weren't sure you were going to get today, but you got through it, which is the main thing. Well, first of all, Happy New Year to everyone. It's so nice to see you so early today. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the... Uh, first tournament of the year you always want to as you said get as much court time as many matches um, I'm very happy that I uh, I'm not happy that it was such a long match but I'm happy that I came through played some good tennis uh, she's a really good player the, her ranking doesn't do her justice we already saw that last year so hopefully she will keep improving and uh, yeah have some wins under her belt yeah, Malene played a fantastic match today. The quality of ball striking from both of you was fantastic. What was one thing that you were particularly happy that you did really well today? Well, finally my serve showed up in the third set, so that made things a little bit easier for me. But um, yeah, just the fact that I was uh, able to you know, win such a long match, tough match. Uh, I was struggling with uh, my health and my fitness the second part of the last, uh, last year. Um, so. I really worked a lot in the off-season and uh, I'm happy that it's already showing. Yeah, you can certainly tell that you've had a great off-season. Um, second edition of the United Cup. Last year you were in Perth. This year you're here in Sydney. Um, you've got your team captain, Eva Maoli. What's the experience like being so far here in Sydney? Um, yeah, it's, uh, I had so much fun last year already, so honestly we were all so excited to come back here. Um, the team energy is great, uh, just like last year, we're really happy to start the year all together and uh, yeah, hopefully we can uh, spend the whole week here, we like it. Well everyone, give it up for Donna Vekic. Well, a very relieved Donna Vekic to get through. and. Uh... Again, acknowledging just how strong her opponent has been, not just this year, but also last year in the United Cup. Marlene Helgo playing well above her ranking and had to earn it, had to do it the hard way today, Donna Vekic. Getting through in three tough sets, just under three hours. And just alluding to the fact that the serve was what got her out of trouble deep in that third set. So Team Croatia go up one love in this tie. It will be up to Borna Choric to try and finish it up. Difficult assignment up against Kasper Ruud. Let's take a look at the numbers, Barbara. Well, a lot more winners obviously coming uh, from Dona Vekic. Uh, we know in the first and in the second set, uh, too many unforced errors. She cut that down in the third set. I think there's still a little bit of work to do on the first serve uh, percentage. Also, uh, how many points she's winning when the first serve is in. That's what she has been uh, practicing in the off season, but it hasn't quite shown up yet. Uh, today, but uh, once again, those import those matches are so important when you don't play your best tennis, you grind through them. She didn't know her opponent, uh, but she's done extremely well. She can be proud of herself, and that might set her up, you know, for a good Aussie summer. 
Let's hope so for Donna Vekic's sake. Uh, got quarterfinals points coming off at this year's Australian Open, so generally does love to play in these conditions. Well, had to do it the hard way today, did Donna Vekic. Got through in a tough first set, dropped the second, but in the third, it was the Donna Vekic that we certainly love to see, and Donna Vekic has put Team Croatia one love up in this group stage.